Go ahead. Never stand in front of, of a box when you're turning it on. Or always stand to one side. If this door blows open, it's going to blow open. So, never stand in line. That's the, that's the disconnect for this crane. Okay. Main power disconnect. When it's off, everything's dead. Now we can go to the crane. If you notice, the crane has power available. The white light is on, so the white label says power is available for the crane. And the crane is also placarded where it shows that the white uh, labels show power and then crane energized is in blue. Okay. Now we'll, the E stop is already pushed in for safety. Release the E stop, it's an eighth of a turn. And then we will start the crane as and long as we make sure that nothing is in the way. So you cleared your area, now you're pushing the green button. Push the start button, you'll hear the horn sound and the blue, ener blue crane energized light will come on. As you're telling that the crane is on, you'll also hear a horn, an audible horn. And you coincide with the label. I see that, yeah. Correct. Good. Now we can start moving the crane if we need to move it. We need to move it to whatever we're going to pick. In which direction are we going to move? East. Well, how do we know which is north, south, a, east, and west? We have labels on the pendant that correspond with the labels on the bridge. Okay, so there's a placard underneath which is a compass rose. Mm -hmm. And it corresponds with the buttons on the push button station. Pendant station. Or the pendant yes. station. Correct. Okay. That's the correspondence. All right. Now, when you push those buttons, what happens? You have a two-speed infinitely variable on the trolley travel. Okay. Uh, the hoist is just straight two-speed. Bridge travel is two-speed infinite variable as well. Okay. So if you push the button in just a little bit, you get slow speed. And you, you can, can push it, it all the way. You can bump it up and stop at any point. You notice I'm pumping. Mm. And stop and hold. release and slow it down as well without it coming to a complete stop in all in trolley travel. Hoist travel it's two speed, that's it. Now why is it important to maintain a, a slow, smooth speed when you're traversing the trolley and moving the bridge? Anytime you're moving the load, the load will have a tendency of making a pendulum you will lose control of your load. It is absolutely important that uh, the operator maintains control of the load at all times. Okay. And then how about picking once we've attached to our load? You need to make sure that the load is directly centered underneath the hoist. Okay, so you cannot operate there is this? zero side pull. Okay, so it we always to want to be right over. Straight down. No side angle. Okay. Are you going to demonstrate a pick for us now? Is that what you're doing? We're going to come down and we're going to attach and up. All right. Oh, I noticed you've just pushed the button all the way in for your high speed. Okay. This hook is not small enough to hook directly to something. So you're going to always be using a sling. Your sling. If you're using a chain sling, you're hooking through a D-ring. You're not running the chain through the hook. Okay. If you're using a nylon sling and you place the eye over the hook, it has to be appropriate size and there has to be no burrs on the hook. <clears throat> okay, and I noticed that this hook also has a safety latch on it. Which must remain in place and functioning. And there's the safety latch right there. So you'd never want to you'd never want to defeat that or make it not work. And the safety latch is there only to keep your attached items from falling out 
Okay, so it'll, so it'll keep this sling from popping out should should the load get bounced. Actually, the D-ring on that sling is a little bit small. Yeah, it's it's tight. But now, also these slings have to be approved lifting slings. They cannot be there should be a tag just regular there. old chain slings. There should be a tag and identification for safe tag. lifting. That's the other thing that I'm not seeing. Yeah. Okay. Now, as far as the, uh, you'll see the hook also has a 360 degree rotation, and also it will fairly, uh, it will self-align itself fairly easily should the load want to uh, actually pull over to the center. But it is very, very important, though, not to side pull any hoist, no matter who makes the hoist or what the hoist is. Always want to put a straight pick on it. And never exceed the rate it passes. That's right. right. Yeah, it says 10 ton, that's it, 10 ton. Mm -hmm. I've okay. been asked before, can you pick up Shall we hook 10 on? and a quarter ton? No, you can't pick up one ounce over. That's the, that's the regulation. Well, and this crane right here does have a uh, safety overload. So it will, once it goes into that mode, if you've bounced your load, it goes into the safety overload and you'll only be able to lower the load. You'll have to take all the weight off the hook and then you can recycle and start again. Shall we uh, make a pick? Yes. Let's hook some change. Take two. Two, any two. And it's very important when you when you start your pick, you're going to start out with just a partial detent of the button for slow, and then go to your fast speed. And we're going to make sure that we're straight up and down. And that looks pretty darn Are straight. That looks pretty good. A little bit less, maybe. A little bit to the left. All right. About there. How's our north-south? Our load looks good north to south. North-south looks. Just a little bit south. There you go, that's it. Right dead over the center. Nice and centered. And then we go up slow. Perfect. You always go slow to take the slack out because if you go fast, you could have a shock load, which could destroy the rope. Yeah, you, you could, could overload the crank, or it could go into overload mode mm -hmm. if you're near capacity. Okay, go ahead. You could also have a sling not engage. Right. And then your load goes off balance. And then we're just going to go up. And it should go up nice and smooth. And with 2,000 pounds on it, that's only one ton. We should have no problem going up. Okay, so now we're in the high speed then. So you pushed your button all the way in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I jogged to high speed, mm -hmm. transferred from high speed to low speed, and at the lower capacity, there's no issues as far as overload. Right. So and when you get into the heavier part. loads, you just always operate it slow. Slow equals safe. That's right. Okay. You want to traverse this load so we can see what it runs with? Sure. Yeah. There we go. Right. Take her up. Take it east and west. Slow and steady. Never be underneath your load. Yep, always stand away. Never bring that load over anybody's head. Uh, loads over the top of people are dead no nos. <clears throat> Even if you don't like the guy, you don't put it over his head. Well, with this type of equipment, you don't get a cut or a bruise. You usually get broken. Just merely because of the amount of weight. So. You usually wind up finding the water. <laughs> yeah. One of the safety seminars, the hard hat just shows where the object went in. Yes. How about uh, shall we do a little, a uh, little south and a little north? 
And now, can you is is it safe to push all the buttons all at one time, Mike? You right. can move multiple axes at the same time. Just I would never move multiple axes high speed at the same time with a load. Okay. You so you want to keep everything at a slow speed, and you can do all your axes all, all at once. Smooth. But you just have to do it smoothly. Ah, uh, Luis is he's smooth anyways. He's good at it. He should be a doctor. Uh, he's gonna be good for training. He's yeah, there you go, good. going back north. Yeah, he's gonna move it a little bit mm -hmm, north. Mm -hmm. He'll probably bring it back up and set it right where he picked it up from. Okay. Now, Mike, when he sets this load down... You want to set it down soft and easy. So you'll set it down again in the slow mode. And then, what does he do? Does he just, you know, does it... He just slacks the chain, but he does not want to slack the wire ropes on the hoist, correct? Okay. You never want to take the load off of your sling. Don't slack the rope on the hoist. Okay. So that hoist wire rope has got to be maintain tension all the time. It, it, and yes. For the most part, the load block maintains enough tension. For the most part, there's very few. Most of them are truck mounted. That the load block is not heavy enough. Huh? It is very smooth. I see you found out how to slow it down. Without swinging it. Which way are you going? Okay, now, now Luis is in a uh, he's in a lowering mode right now. What would happen if you had an emergency and you absolutely had to stop this right at aside from pushing your releasing that button? What if the button stuck? What would you do? Go ahead. And it will stop it, even if you're going Okay, there it is. It did stop. All right. Quarter turn to the right. Push the start button. And continue. And as with all loads, you never grip the load. You always, always, always put your hand on the load, never under it. That's right. Well, it's important to know, you know, where the emergency stops are on a crane at all times because the crane is made by people, and you never know who used the crane before you, and the guy could have really overloaded it, could have overworked it. He could have broken, he could have melted a contactor in the control panel. Anything could have happened. So when you first start using the, the crane, you test your upper limit, you test your lower limit. Then you start your operation of the, of the actual crane itself. You want to make sure that all of the functions function and function as labeled. That's right. Labels need to stay on. Dry run prior to well, it's yes, your, it's your daily. It's That's your daily, daily do's and don'ts, operation. and your daily do's and don'ts are right here, just above the push button station. They're right here. Yeah. And it says do and it says monthly, don't, which is their daily. And there you go. I might have a copy of Gemex's monthly, which is the daily. So there you have it. That's that's a wrap. Our load is safely on the floor. The emergency red button is off. The power is off on the crane. And that's a wrap.